Hey guys, this is Saran from Skilllink and welcome to a new video. As it is commonly known, hybrid electric vehicles are very good at reducing pollutions and are far more efficient than conventional IC engines only vehicles. So why aren't we shifting to a future where all vehicles are completely electrified? Actually, we are, but the transition is slow because even if we generalize electric vehicles, they will be hard to fit in the present scenario due to practical issues. Let's take an example. Take a long stretch of highway. If you drive through it, you will see a number of gas stations along the way, right? Every few kilometers or miles. But what if you're driving an electric vehicle and you run out of charge in the middle of such a highway? You will be stranded because infrastructurally, we are not sound enough to support electric vehicles. Now, again, I'm talking about India here, just to give others some context. So until we achieve the infrastructure that can support electric vehicles on road, HEVs are a great compromise. And since they use an IC engine to power up, optimizing the IC engine design is very vital. In fact, as of 2019, we should care about IC engines and we should continue to optimize them. To optimize an IC engine, we must design it or remodel it in such a way that it produces low emissions without compromising on performance. This is where reacting flow computational fluid dynamics come in. Using softwares like Convert CFD, we can model the IC engine extremely efficiently and you can learn a lot about combustion. Now, if you take any engine maker, they are trying to reduce emissions and increase combustion efficiency. They can do this by monitoring the reactive flows in the IC engine. However, an engine is a dynamic body and it is impossible for us to see and monitor what is happening inside it. Hence, one way to do so would be with the help of simulations. By simulating flow inside an engine, we can study how the combustion and emission happen in the engine. Then we can identify the trouble areas and modify the design to solve the problem. This is the standard process in industries. As a demonstration of this, we at Skilllink simulated flow in different types of engines and calculated how the emissions occur. Here we are comparing two different types of pistons. One is called as the open W piston and the other one is called as the omega type piston. When we simulated flow through an engine which uses one of these pistons, we saw that the fuel impingement was more when the open W bowl was used. Now, because of this excess wall impingement or wall contact, the open W piston gave rise to more unburnt hydrocarbon emissions. Because of impingement, the peak cylinder temperature was also lower and because of that, the NOx emissions was also lower. Getting this level of insight is possible using softwares like Convert CFD and good computing hardware. This is a great example of how simulation tools, when used correctly, can give amazing insights. Now, when you modify an IC engine, the geometry is usually complex. And therefore, the meshing process is very, very complex, right? But in Converge, the meshing is completely automated and it creates high quality Cartesian meshes which has very low numerical diffusion. And this is one of the reasons why Convert CFD is preferred by most of the IC engine manufacturers. I hope you found this video useful. If you're interested in learning how to simulate reactive flows inside an internal combustion engine, check out our latest course. The links are in the description box below. Thank you, bye.